The City of Tucson approved a half million dollar program to hire 10 park rangers to keep the parks in the city safe. News 4 Tucson's Danelle Confair has our details. Prop 407 approved by voters last month will mean a lot more money going into parks here in Tucson. And now the City Council is taking steps to make sure the 100 plus parks in the city are patrolled. The Rangers will go through our crisis intervention training. It's a 40 hour program and it's the same program that a lot of our police officers have gone through. And they'll also be working closely with our mental health services team, known as our MIST team, which are detectives who are specially trained to work with some of this population. The Rangers will be partnering with Tucson Police and the Parks Department. And also go into de-escalation training and then work with our Parks Department about some of the sort of parks specific needs that we have, you know, where the, where we have park problem parks. The 10 Park Ranger Community Service Officers will make a little over $15 an hour. That means the program will cost the city more than a half million dollars. What we want to do is have a presence, uh, kind of ambassadors, if you will, folks who can be, um, be in and around parks, who can address concerns that people have, who can interact with the public, uh, and, and just create more of a climate of safety, I think. One person we talked to at a local park said the rangers aren't needed. The money should go to the restrooms right there. You can show. They've been closed for I don't know how long. The program will be paid for by TPD and then eventually by Tucson's Park Department. Rangers will not be armed with weapons, but will have Narcan on them in case they run into someone overdosing on narcotics. I'm Danielle Confair, News 4 Tucson. And the park rangers are expected to be hired sometime next year.